Hey guys, today we're going to talk about um, we're, we're going to talk about the Nvidia Jetson Nano two gigabytes developer kit. So this recently was released, and I basically pre-ordered it on Amazon, and so. Um, so yeah, I haven't opened it yet. I've had this for maybe a week or two now and I haven't looked at it yet. So I am going to do an unboxing now. This is the unboxing video. I'm gonna take it apart, show you what comes in the box, talk about it a little bit. Um, I haven't done a ton of... I haven't done a ton of research on this or looked into what it's capable of or... Like I, I don't really know a whole lot about it yet. We're going to be uh, doing a whole lot with it, testing it out, um, learning everything we can about it. We're going to put all the specs on it. We're going to do a write-up. Um, if you check the link in the description, you'll have two links. One showing you where you can buy this and another link to my website where I'm, I'm going to have a page where I do a write-up on this and have some pictures, um, give, give you a little bit more information, probably have some more videos that I do embedded. as I, I'm going to do future videos on this showing you how to use it, how to install the OS, and you know testing it out and showing you what you can do with it. So that's going to be coming up in the future, so we're going to be doing a lot with this. We're going to be looking into how to use it and everything. But um, basically, right now, we, we don't have a whole lot of information about it, except um, just a little bit I've, I've um, you know, gleaned from skimming over the descriptions. But basically, this is um, it, it runs an ARM-based CPU. I believe it's a Tegra CPU. It's like a Tegra system on a chip with an ARM-based CPU in it. And um, Jet, really, this is it's by Nvidia, and it's geared towards AI. So that that's what they're marketing it for. It's, you could use it for other things, but it's geared towards artificial intelligence. So that that's and supposedly that's what it's good for. I don't know if it's better than you know other you know other single board computer computer offerings, but um, uh, let's see, it has a hundred twenty. Wow, how about that? 128 core NVIDIA Maxwell GPU. That is pretty crazy. Um, so it has a quad core ARM Cortex A57. So that's not like, I don't believe that's the new one of the newer ARM Cortex processors, but it's not old either. Um, at least not in my mind. And it has, it's a couple gigs of memory, so not a ton of memory. Um, I mean, Raspberry Pis, I mean, the, so usually the higher end SBCs have, have about four gigs of memory. And um, the Raspberry Pis go up to eight gigs, and you can actually get an Odroid, an, uh, an x86 based Odroid that goes up to like 32 gigs. But, anyways, um, that's really not what you're, you, you need for this, anyways, if you're doing AI. I guess, I guess what the you know, the main selling point, I should turn this around. The main selling point, I guess, is the 128 core NVIDIA Maxwell GPU. That's pretty crazy. Takes a SD card to boot, um, has a IO, has you. So yeah, we get USB 3.1, USB 2.0, and USB 2.0 micro, device mode only. You got HDMI output, um, gigabit ethernet. <clears throat> it has a CS, it has a MIPI CSI2 camera connector so that's great if you want to do like computer vision and stuff like that like use tensorflow to detect objects that's that's definitely something we're going to get into so i'm going to do I, i've been planning to do that with my raspberry pis and maybe my odroids i definitely definitely want to try this out for this this looks um i'm probably going to buy like a coral board too but i'm definitely going to be testing this out for tensorflow and and um in like object detection and stuff. So it's got so it's got the camera port. We're gonna point that out when we take this out of the box. It's a 40, 40 pin expansion header, has UART, SPI, I2S, I2C, and GPIO. So usually a lot of times people just call those expansion pins GPIO pins, these pins here. They're just like, oh yeah, those are the GPIO pins. They're actually, not all of them are GPIO. GPIO is general purpose IO. Some of these are other types of pins. So they're not GPIO pins, even though people usually refer to them as all as GPIO. Anyways, um, I'm kind of rambling here. We should get into this. What One thing this does not come with is a power supply in an SD card. You're gonna need both of those. You're gonna need your SD card for your OS and you're gonna need a power supply. I might have some power supplies around that I could use to test this out, but I'm probably gonna order one just to, I have not ordered one yet, but I'm gonna probably order one just to have, you know, a power supply just for this. So I do not have the power supply for this. I have a few extra SD cards. I'm not sure if I have enough for this and my other single board computers I purchased, so I might have to buy a few more. I'm gonna see how that goes also. Anyways. Let's see, this is taped on here. Let's open this up. This has a really nice looking box too. Not that that's super important, but 
yeah they made the box look visually pretty nice um anyways this looks pretty e right even before even taking this out of the plastic wrap this looks like uh this looks more like a just just you know the, the, the first impression I get is this looks like a PC component, not like a single board computer. Can't put my finger on what it is, but this just, it feels like I'm holding a, a video card or like a, a PC component. Maybe it's my imagination, but this feels more like a, you know, PC component rather than a single board computer by itself. Anyways, what else comes in here? So it comes with this little quick start support guide. Um, I'm going to want to hold on to that for now. Um, yeah, it gives you a little bit of info, um, tells you where to go to get like instructions and support and what, whatever else. Um, so that's all fine and great. Comes with, uh, what else does it come with? I believe it comes with a plug. Oh, okay, so it, it comes with the USB cable. I did not think it was going to come with it. Good thing I didn't just throw the box away. Alright, I'm basically destroying the box here. But in, anyways, um, yeah, so there we go. Comes with this, uh, comes with this nice uh, USB cable. And oh, look at that. This is to, not to be thrown away. I'm, I'm actually not sure what this is. Um, USB adapter, wireless. So, okay, so this is, a, this is a wireless card. And I, get, I guess it would be easy to mistake this for a plug that's just plugging up the end of your USB cable. But this is a wireless card. I guess you could plug this directly in or you could leave this on the end here. That is kind of an interesting thing. They didn't want to include a power supply for this. So there's no power adapter, but they did include, they included a USB cable, a small USB cable and a Wi-Fi card. So that was kind of interesting. Um, yeah, that, that makes for an interesting uh, unboxing video. So let's see, uh, let's take a look at this. Open this up a bit. Let's see, I take this out of the static wrap. And here we go. Look, look at this. So this is this is nice black finish on it. That's kind of a superficial thing for me to point out. Um, yeah, so you're gonna see, um, okay, look at that. Interesting, I, I noticed this. So this is the back of it, right? And you'll see all these pins for the, the, the general, these are for the expansion pins, but you'll also notice there's a row of expansion pins here that you might not notice at first, or I wouldn't have unless I looked at this, unless I looked at the back. But in, um, it also looks like you have something here that you could solder things onto. Um, these are just like holes that you could solder things, I guess. Um, and it looks like there's a little bit of residue from something on the board over here, like leftover from soldering or something. I'm not sure why that is. That's a little weird. All right, so. Um, you're gonna see your your main CPU, or this has a pretty good sized. Um, this has a pretty good sized heat sink on the CPU, um, and I'm guessing this covers the GPU also. And this is actually a separate, I guess, riser card you would call it. It's a separate card that's separate from this main board, um, so it sits off of the main board, which is kind of interesting. And actually, so this is basically like two separate boards stuck together. So it's screwed in. You see there's screws here, a screw here and a screw here. And this basically slides out almost like a stick of RAM or something. And you'll see this top board that has the big heat sink on it actually has a little slot where you'd slide your SD card into it. And um, you'll see hidden under here, there, it's hard to see in the video. There you go, I got the lighting right. You can see there's some pins here that you could connect kit wires to or, or maybe even potentially solder something to. Um, those go together with these little, you can see these labeled pins right here. Kind of nice that they're labeled so you don't even need a reference for them. So labeled pins here, um, labeled pins here. These pins over here are a little bit more obvious. They just stick out right here. These are like your normal pins. These are similar to what you would get on a Raspberry Pi. I'm not sure if they're meant to be compatible or not. So you get you have expansion pins here, and you have some more, I guess, expansion pins here underneath this thing. Kind of a strange way to lay things out. Um, what else can we see here? All right, so obviously there's our gigabit Ethernet. Um, here is a uh, here's a small. Okay, okay, so we have a small. I guess this is. I forget if this is mini or micro USB. So we we have. I believe this is a USB. Yeah, US, mini USB port here. A mini. Here's your USB-C or USB 3.1, and then um, HDMI. You have a one, two, three more regular-sized USB ports. I'm guessing this would have to be 3.0, and this is 2.0. 
Is that what it said on the box? Yeah, it says it comes with a two point, has a couple 2.0 and it has a 2.0B device mode only. Um, yeah, so, all right, so supposedly, all right, so the, the 2.0 micro B, that's, that's gotta be this guy. Um, that is going to be the device mode only. So like if you wanted to treat this as a device. And um, let's see, so this guy would be your, this is your USB 3.1. And um, yeah, so I'm not seeing where. All right, so yeah, I think that covers everything actually. Well, there's, so that, that leaves the question, why do I have three USB ports here? There's supposed to be only two of your USB 2.0. So, yeah, I'm not sure about that. Maybe I'm just misreading the back of the box. Uh, anyways, we have a total of one, two, three, four, five different USB ports. The back of the port seems to indicate, back of the box seems to indicate that there's only four different USB ports. So that's interesting. So um, let's see. Oh yeah, and I said I would point out the the MIPI CS or MIPI or whatever, however you would call it, yeah. CSI to camera port. So that's this thing right here. So this is basically this a CSI camera port is was basically you it, it's you would slide a little ribbon cable in here and you would slide the other end of it into your camera. So that's that's common. You you'll see that in the Raspberry Pi boards and a lot of other single board computers. It has a port like this that you can slide. You have it for displays and also for cameras. So you have your DSI for displays and your CSI for cameras. It's a little ribbon cable you slide in here. And like the I know the Raspberry Pi camera takes that little ribbon cable cable and I believe this would probably be compatible with a Raspberry Pi camera and it's also probably compatible there, there are a bunch of other types of cameras that it would probably also work with the same way they're like a clones and equivalents of the Raspberry Pi camera some some may be better and um, right here this looks like a little power plug for the fan. yeah it says J7 fan so this little this little plug here is for the fan and I, I think that's everything we're going to go over today with this board. That's about everything. Um, and on, um, you, know, you know, maybe this is for power. Um, yeah, I, I would assume you would power it from, I would, I assume you would power it from this guy, but I'm actually not sure. And I'm going to have to look into that. We're, we're going to try this out and get this working later. So we're going to have all this covered in a future video. But I think that's that's everything that we're gonna cover in the unboxing video. So that that's about it. This is the unboxing of the uh, of the Nvidia Jetson Nano 2 gig developer kit. So this is that's pretty much it. Just showing you what's in the box, going over some of the features, what's on the board, all the stuff it has. Um, we're not gonna test it out in this video. That's for a future video, which um, you know is another good reason to subscribe to this channel. We have a ton of other content. Um, we're, we're doing servers, desktop hardware. Um, a lot of single board computers, AI, programming, databases, networking, all sorts of tech related stuff. And we're going to be doing updated videos on this uh, and a lot more videos on, we've done some single board computer videos already. Um, we have some 3D printing videos coming out soon. We have a ton more single board computer related content coming out. We're going to be building some robots. We have a couple robot building kits and we're also going to be building some robots from scratch hopefully. Uh, we're going to be dealing a lot with like computer vision, artificial intelligence, machine learning, all that stuff. So we have a ton of stuff coming up. You definitely want to su subscribe to the channel. And you're, you're going to want to hit that little bell icon because it's going to give you an uh, alert when we come out with uh, new videos. So, so yeah, hit, hit uh, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Give us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs down if you didn't like the video, um, however you want, however you feel. If you have any questions, comments, criticisms, leave a comment down below. We, we want to hear how you feel. We, we want to know what you think. Leave a comment down below. Um, and uh, that, that's pretty much it for today. So as always, hopefully you enjoyed watching and, um, and that's it. Thanks for watching.